On the medical watch, the surgery that sidelined Tiger Woods. Yeah, medical reporter Dina Bear is here with more on how it will impact the golfer's game. Absent from the U.S. Open this weekend, Tiger Woods continues to recover from an April procedure on his damaged right foot, the result of a serious car accident in 2021. But when he is back on his feet, he may not be standing the same. After grinding through the early rounds at Augusta. He looked visibly like he was having a lot of pain. Tiger Woods headed to the operating room to address pain lingering from his February 2021 car accident. His right leg severely damaged. So all that energy hits your heel bone. And when it hits your heel bone, it basically kind of bangs into all the other bones in the leg. So this whole bone essentially just bangs into the one above it. And everything in between kind of gets damaged including the subtalar joint, which helps the foot move from side to side. Yeah, so that's a pretty significant injury for a golfer. Eric Bryant is a biker, not a golfer, but he too felt constant pain after falling from a ladder several years ago. I um, fell, all my weight came down on my left ankle, on my left leg, and I fractured my heel bone in two places. So over the years, the, um, the arthritis, it, it, it got really bad. The subtalar joint is here below it, and you can kind of see that there's not a very even space, and we can see how the bone is reactive to the arthritis with the thickening that develops. Like Tiger, Eric opted to have the joint fused. You can see after surgery, we essentially kind of scrape that joint out and then put screws across it to essentially fuse those two bones together. That side to side's pretty stiff. His pain is gone, and so is some of his range of motion. If I'm uh, in the backyard, I have like some uneven uh, areas in the backyard. I noticed that uh, it's a little difficult. That may be a problem for an elite golfer. If you are walking on uneven surfaces or if you're kind of shifting or pivoting side to side, that's the joint that's actually very active. Even if you think about him lying on a, um, a plane or like a side of a hill, he's going to have trouble getting his foot to stay flat to even plant as well as push off and balance himself. Still, Eric says the procedure was worth the trade-off and it may be for Tiger as well. I was like, oh, I think he can handle it though. He would definitely get a relief from the uh, surgery. It's been wonderful since then, a big difference. No more pain. Tiger hasn't announced when he'll return to the game, but doctors say recovery from the fusion procedure takes about three months. Back to you.